What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture And I didn't expect this, just like you probably didn't expect this But there is now such a thing as Antares Auto-Tune Reason Let's get into it All right, I just dropped in Antares Auto-Tune and I turned it off for the time being. Let's go ahead and set the key. It is D natural minor, D minor as it says there. And let's turn off. Actually, I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like in Neptune. I need a rolly, protect on him, flex on him, blow a check on him. I need a rolly. Press on them. All right, that is how I set it for my rough track in Reason, the rough track I recorded in Neptune. That are, Those are the settings I put it on. Get my words mixed up. Let's turn this off, and let's set this. So retune speed is on fast right now, and we only have three settings for it. Nothing in between, slow, medium, and fast. This is essentially auto-tune access. But it's a rack extension, so you have control voltage options, which we'll go over shortly. Let's set this. I need a rolly, protect on them. I'm going to turn off my sins so you don't get confused by what is going on. Off, off. I need a rolly, protect on them. Flex on them, blow a check on them. I need a rolly. Press on them. This is humanized. Flex on them. Finesse on them. I need a rolly. Protect on them. Flex on them. Blow a check on them. I need a rolly. So if we were comparing, then we would be comparing retune speed to correction speed. And uh, this right here, preserve expression to humanize. I need a rolly. Protect on Neptune would reign supreme in terms of editability. I know that's not a word, but I can't think of a better one right now. Uh, however, they are different algorithms, so that's why one may be drawn to the Antares over Neptune. I need a rolly, protect on them, flex on them, blow a check on them. Now, given how limited we are with Antares auto-tune reason, I would actually stick with Neptune in this case. I have actually finished recording this song, as this is just a scratch vocal, and I ended up going with Neptune as the final auto-tune as opposed to Antares Auto-Tune Pro, and I'll show you that in a future video. I need a rolly, protect on them, flex on them, blow a check on them, I need a rolly, press on them, flex on them, finesse on them. I now, your question may be, well, if auto-tune reason isn't much better than Neptune in terms of me being able to get the sound I want, why would I use it? Well, outside of these basic, you know, options you have of retune speed on three different modes and humanize on three different modes, of course, the scales and, you know, whatever you would like to tune it to. Of course, as I said before, you have that algorithm. The Antares algorithm is its own. It's very different than Neptune. Now, let's actually take a look at what makes this unique and different than Auto-Tune Access, which I've done a video on previously. We have this here, Note In, Pitch to CV, and if we flip to the back, you'll see we have those inputs and outputs along with an envelope follower and choosy tracking which is perfect for us at the moment essentially the difference between uh, having choosy on and off choosy is going to be more of an extreme setting for tracking whereas turning it off is going to be more relaxed let's get into some ways that you can use this in your production outside of vocals all right, I know I said we would get away from vocals, but let's see how creative we can get. Let's grab a Humana vocal ensemble. Gonna choose some ooze. 
and let's program a few notes here sequence a few notes here now you want to keep this monophonic or else it will not be readable by auto-tune reason all right so I could show you what it does when you try let's grab it auto-tune reason all right now let's draw another note on here just so you can see what I mean see how it didn't register that until there was a single note playing just confuses the system the algorithm because it's a monophonic instrument sorry monophonic effect now what we can do is set the key to be identical to what we played F minor and if you want to mess with human eyes you can it'll depend on the effect you're using how it actually sounds but since these are in key there won't be much going on with the correction so what you can do is some detuning I'm gonna grab unison and put it before the auto tune and let's put this down to four voices and we'll turn the detune up a little bit let's hear what I did This gives auto-tune reason more to work with in terms of pitch variation. Now, let's see what we can do with the CV, the control voltage. No in. Let's flip to the back, and we're going to send something here. Let's go for something like utilities, built-in devices. I'm holding down shift so it doesn't auto-connect. RPG8 and let's take the CV inputs here and connect them like this you'll notice that RPG8 isn't playing anything so let's go ahead and send it some notes let's create a track for this a quick way to do this is by just clicking arpeggiate notes to track and that'll create a track automatically we can just drag this down if we want to copy that hold down option to do it slow down the rate here With that we could see that it was moving the MIDI notes were lighting up so what we're gonna do is make these chords so that we can get some arpeggiation going on so something like that but let's make this a little more musical while we're at it I am going to erase these and play something because it's going to be faster all right these are the notes that i played and this is arpeggiate reacting to it let's choose a sound that might fit better let's go to let's grab a lead of some sort something that's meant to be bent more so this is a cool start to a track 
in my opinion i could make a beat out of this of course so let's look into page to cv that's going to involve the cv output so how we can use that let's create another instrument let's say um something that'll be long enough let's do another lead just drag it down there and we'll take this gate and drag it up to auto tune reason and we'll take the CV and we'll drag it down. And let's make sure that it is on, it's on. Now we have these two knobs here. We'll mess with them as we go. Notice that it's not making sound yet. So let's increase this here. Sounds like the Scooby Doo remix to me. <laughs> So you could definitely do some fun CV patching with this. If you don't understand CV, I have an entire video where I go over everything you need to know about control voltage, which is CV and reason. Check that out. I'll put it in the cards and the description for those of you who can't, can't see, for those of you who can't see the cards. And I also have an entire video on how to use combinators if you're interested in learning and getting more into the reason rec because I don't know about you, but the reason I wanted reason as a kid was because I saw that you could do this. Might not be the best workflow, but that's why I wanted it. So all in all, what I recommend you get auto-tune reason for vocals, I say get that 30-day trial and see how it works, see how it fits into what you're already doing. It might not outdo Neptune for your specific style. I will say that if you already have auto-tune access and these CV features mean nothing to you, I wouldn't get the rack extension. The reason that people go for auto-tune access as opposed to auto-tune pro for reason is because reason, the DAW itself, does not support VST3 yet. The Reason Rack plugin, however, is VST3 format, but the DAW doesn't support VST3. And that is why people have to go for alternatives such as Auto-Tune Access or now Auto-Tune Reason if you really want to get under the hood and get into some CV and have fun, which is one of the main draws to Reason. So definitely up to you. I would definitely check it out. As I said, Neptune and Antares have different algorithms. Anyways, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up a Scooby-Doo remix.